This new building is going to be transformative, not just for the College of Business, but for Kent State. It will allow students from all over campus to be exposed to active, immersive learning, to technologies and tools that business students in small groups are using today, and collaborate with faculty and business leaders, not only from Northeast Ohio, but really across the country as we bring them in to speak in the global forum and talk about how business around the world works today. There are many factors that weigh in on how a business school is ranked, certainly its faculty, but also the facility. The building actually plays some role in our ability to be in the top 100 because it will attract more students, higher quality students, and over time that will show up in the rankings that we have. Our current facility was constructed in the early 1970s. Back then, the pedagogy was we would always have professors on the stage giving mass lectures to students, sitting in seats that wouldn't move. It's very hard to teach in the way that I would like to teach. And what I mean by that is incorporating a lot of group work, a lot of class discussions, flipping the classroom around. During my time at Kent State, the building served a great purpose. It was a classroom style and it looked like a theater and that's just the way education was done a hundred years ago. It's a different world today. Today's about collaboration, it's about working together. Business students have a great opportunity because after class they can use these open spaces to collaborate face to face when working on a project instead of communicating online or through a group message which might not be as efficient. In the new building, every aspect of it from the top floor to the bottom, it just shows the ability to work on your toes, the ability to work with other people. It gives you opportunity to take business and make it more interactive and make it more fun for everyone involved. We can work in groups on projects, we have a new trade floor. A lot of new opportunity, it's just a lot of stuff to be excited about. The current situation in the College of Business has a small trading room, and I saw the plans for the new College of Business, and they have this big elaborate trading room that looks like it's straight off of Wall Street. And I'm very excited to see how that looks. The new trading floor will actually mimic how it will be for a student to pursue a career in finance on the investment side, and it'll ease the gap between their academic career and their professional careers that'll hopefully allow them to land a better job. The new technology in the financial trading lab will be very important for our students. Getting hands-on experience in managing money, but also getting hands-on experience with sophisticated technology, Bloomberg terminals, those are the types of experiences that make a difference. A new building that's larger with the appropriate technology can train far more finance professionals in the future than we can today. The other part of the vision really would be to make sure every student that comes through has a great opportunity to, to have the job that they want. In recent years, we're receiving an increase in requests of employers to come to campus to host office hours or on-campus interviews, which are great ways for them to connect to students, but we don't have a designated space for them. The new building is really going to be built around collaborative learning and modular spaces, which will help them further develop their teamwork and interpersonal skills, and those are the skills that our employers are asking for every day. We recently created a new headquarters here in Northeast Ohio. What we found is decisions are made faster. The social atmosphere is stronger. People feel better about coming to work. It was easier to get from place to place, and overall we grew both in efficiency and effectiveness. Having an open space that allows companies to have big professional tabling events during the day in the university will allow students to take full advantage of that and hopefully open more opportunities for them. The classroom design, the technology that we'll use, and the way that the faculty teach is going to be different in the new building. We're already preparing our faculty to make that shift from lecture style learning to active learning so that the hands-on capabilities that students will need will be mastered before they leave Kent State. It will give Kent State's business students a competitive advantage in this region because it will be a modern approach that isn't very common currently in the Midwest. When I see this new building and the drawings and how it's going to fit into the campus and, and effectively be the entry point of the campus, I think it sets Kent State in a new direction and it shows students that this is a forward-thinking, forward-looking university. A new building builds pride in Kent State University. It builds pride in our students. In a small way, I'm giving back because I certainly wouldn't be here today if I didn't have that, uh, that education. And, uh, and Kent certainly uh, offered that opportunity to me. Private giving is very important, and for any private donor, they can feel the value of changing lives in the way that we do every day. I'm delighted by the opportunity that we'll have with the new building to bring all that together in one structure and share it, not only with business students, but all other students on campus and for that matter, even the community. 
if a company or a an alumni is considering a donation to help build the business school building or for any of the programs, I would say you look at it as much of an investment as anything else. Kent State already graduates the most business professionals to the Northeast Ohio community. This new building will only help us to attract new talent to Kent State and graduate that talent to the workforce here in Ohio. The future of Kent State is very bright.